I'm not really sure where to start with this, if I'm honest with you. Bloomberg, I guess, has a new show. Brace yourself, because they tweeted out the promo for this earlier today and then quickly deleted it. And now they're trying to, like, sweep it under the rug, and they don't want you to know that this exists, that it's a thing out there. But behind the scenes, I hear at Bloomberg HQ, all of the employees are sharing this and watching this, and they're mortified by it because it's weird. And let's watch this together. Here's the trailer for this supposedly upcoming show on Bloomberg TV, which dozens and dozens of people watch on a regular basis. So this could be the next big thing. Let's focus in. The man of your dreams is here. If your dreams included, the village people meets a 47-year-old Jewish academic with erectile dysfunction who's on testosterone. I'm in construction. In addition to academia, I like to bring construction into my sex life. I'm a big fan of one-night stands. I call it the nut and bolt. Anyway, Bitcoin, bitches, here we go. Oh, my God. What was that? That was the most disjointed. It was illogical. It was bizarre. And it wasn't even like viral in a good way kind of promo. Right? He's kind of embracing this. And he's like, yeah, I'm a wild man. It's not in a good way. Explain this to me. Why are you in a coal mine? Are you a coal miner? Are you trying to attract coal mining families by being an aging man with his shirt off? I don't know if that's going to work. Are spinsters watching Bloomberg? Is there a huge audience for that? Also, if you're going to really try to pitch to the coal miners, take the sticker off your brand new pickaxe that you just bought from Lowe's. The man of your dreams is here. If your dreams included, the village people meets a 47-year-old Jewish academic with erectile dysfunction. 47. 47. Scott Galloway. 1964. 56 years old. Nine years. Is this a nine-year-old show? Is this show nine years old? Or did they just accidentally release this? Or is the guy lying about his age in the promo for his new show that nobody's going to watch? It's on testosterone. I'm in construction. He likes to talk about construction. Might be like 50% of his show. In addition to academia, I like to bring construction into my sex life. I'm a big fan of one-night stands. I call it the nut and bolt. That right there. I'm a big fan of one-night stands. I call it the nut and bolt. Made it right past all the brass at Bloomberg. They said, thumbs up. It's going to be good. People are going to love it. This is a runaway hit right here. That's what they thought was going to work. Anyway, Bitcoin, bitches. Here we go. Man, that was a mess. <laughs> I've seen some messy promos. Honestly, in the beginning of my career, I've been in some messy promos. That was a mess. Not a good mess. A bad mess. Maybe you want to watch. Let me know in the comments. Watch this inexplicable video of NYU professor Scott Galloway declaring himself a fan of nut and bolt one night stands. A baffling video is uh, the correct way to put it, and that's what media I did on their website of NYU professor Scott Galloway, which was apparently posted and then deleted by Bloomberg, quickly made the Twitter rounds on Friday. New York Times media reporter Katie Robinson blessed Twitter with a clip. Sees, uh, she sees if it gives insight of what to expect when watching his new show on Bloomberg and their streaming service, Quick Take. Okay. So here's what happened behind the scenes, allegedly. She says, Katie Robertson says, I'm reliably told by people all over the Bloomberg office that everybody is playing this right now. Everybody in the office is watching this and going, just like I did. Oh, God. Oh, God. What are we watching? And Garrett DeVink said, "Uh, I still cannot believe that teaser got approved. I'm as amazed as you are, sir. Scott Galloway, the guy in the video, said, what is this word, approval? Let's see if he said anything else, because he's trying to ramp this up. But come on, nobody is believing that this is good press that you're getting. It's just weird press. As he tweeted, he's got some news. Uh, He doesn't seem to have addressed addressed this in the last couple of hours. So there it is. All right, he hasn't talked about this 
other than that one reply tweet, it looks like, from his official account. He says, product of big government, UCLA, UC Berkeley, professor of marketing at NYU Stern, right of center left. And uh, I guess he's got some podcasts and some other things that he's been involved in over the years. He may have deleted that reply because I don't even see that anymore. Yeah. I, I think he, oh, no, 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 he did. He left that up. He said, I love Bloomberg. And then he said, uh, I love my stands afterwards. This is all he said about this whole thing. Uh, somebody says, please do not destroy Bloomberg from the inside out. I don't know what's going to happen here. The whole thing is very weird to me. Maybe I'm not the target audience. Maybe you watch this and you say, that's a hit, Sean. I'm going to watch. If so, let me know in the comments below. I'd appreciate it as always. If you like this video and you want to share it with your friends, I don't know why you would subject them to this. Maybe you just dislike them over the 4th of July weekend. If so, hit that share button right now. If you're new around here, make sure at facebook.com slash the news junkie, hit the follow button for videos just like this every single day over at youtube.com slash the news junkie, uh, hit subscribe. Thank you for watching. We'll talk to you again real soon.